an absolute paradise for expats, digital nomads. What else could you wish for in a place where you come to, to live? Who wouldn't love this place, honestly? It could be a perfect place for you to live here, unless you're afraid of werewolves. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a very, very special place in Tuscany and I'm so excited to show this town to you. We're in Pontremoli and it's a splendid town in the heart of Tuscany with a population of a little bit over 7,000 people. But trust me, this place is an absolute paradise for expats, digital nomads and basically everybody who loves Italy because you cannot leave this town without falling in love. And if you want to know more and if you want to know why, let's go with me! I don't know guys if you can see it, but I feel like these streets look so much like Florence. They really make me think of Florence with this uh, architecture. I love this place. Guys, I have to say that for a relatively small town there are so many things to do. There are so many bars and restaurants where you can have lunch or dinner or aperitivo or whatever you want. There are lots of historical landmarks, like look at this cathedral, it's spectacular. There are also several museums, including the castle where we are heading right now. And obviously I imagine there might be lots of hiking trails around because the nature is stunning it's absolutely jaw-dropping i swear and also let's get inside here because i have this feeling that the cathedral will be as splendid inside as it is outside And here, guys, right in the center of Pontremoli, you can buy an apartment overlooking Duomo, the cathedral of the town. I think that would be a perfect place to live here. The fun thing about Italy, guys, is that wherever you go, even when you go to a small town, there will be those typical local recipes that you cannot find anywhere else. This uh, dessert is called Amor. And I don't really think that it needs any translation because it's quite obvious. Uh, it means love just in case and it's a local dessert from Pontremoli and the recipe of this is actually secret it's been kept secret here for centuries and only several local pasticcerias know how to prepare them and i think that every pasticceria actually prepares it in in its own manner and i'm so excited to try it guys it's very good trust me it has the most tender cream inside and a crispy waffle outside and it tastes so good. It's just a little bit difficult to eat, but other than that, it's so good. But obviously, guys, I didn't choose Pontremoli by chance. Actually, I came here to visit a splendid community of people initiated by the locals, by local volunteers in order to attract more people here to Pontremoli and I'm so looking forward to meet these people and to talk to them about this whole initiative that's why I said that this place is perfect for expats, for digital nomads and you're gonna learn a little bit more in just a second trust me, these people are so inspirational they do so much for the place where they live that it just... I have no words I think they're such an example of love to their place uh, where they live and I think that's perfect. If you decide to come here you can rest assured that you will not be left alone. Basically the whole idea of the initiative that you come here and you already have friends and 
what else could an expat want, what else could a digital nomad want, you know, to come to a place where you will be welcomed for sure and will, where you'll find friends, where you'll find the people who are ready to help you and to uh, accompany you on all the, uh, all the passages of becoming a local in a new place. And yeah, guys, let's go and meet them together. Start Working Pantramali is a fantastic local initiative that brings digital nomads from all around the world together here in Pantramali. Local volunteers offer all the experts and digital nomads a warm, welcoming, fantastic community of like-minded people and facilities to carry on their remote work from here, which sounds awesome for me. That being said, these people gather together for a variety of activities in their free time, you know, from aperitivo, classical Italian activity with friends, to hiking, because the mountains here, the nature here is splendid, to cleaning the river from plastic, thus having fun and being useful to the community that they live in. And I think that's lovely. So the Start Working Pontremoli is a volunteering project, it was born in October 2020, uh, by a group of local volunteers, so people who were born here and who really care about this place, who really love Pontremoli, and they wanted to do something for this town to uh, revitalize the place, to attract more people, new people here, especially um, you know remote workers, people who can come here and work from here. Some Italians, some from abroad. Uh, so since then, now we are already. 12, uh, 14, 15 maybe people who moved here permanently and then um, in addition to this there are many many people who come here maybe for a few days for, like for a few weeks for a few months maybe in summer so the community got really big we are a group of really international people we have people from Ireland America uh, Spain uh, Germany, Estonia. So I think the best part of this project, I'm one of the people who moved here with this project, is the welcoming. That's how it is called from by the volunteers of Pontremoli. So basically when you arrive here, when you decide to visit the, pla the place in order to maybe move here, you are welcomed by these volunteers, um, one or two people who welcome you and uh, show you around for one afternoon or for one day, full day, and you are their guest. Basically, they take care of you, they show you around, they introduce you to the community, they show you anything you need in the town. So this is very, everything for free. So this is very special and unique. I think this is really the best part of this project. People are really authentic and interested in building a community and to stay together and join life together. One of the most beautiful initiatives of this whole project is the co-working space. Uh, the local parish has uh, kind of donated, had offered uh, this space to the whole initiative so that uh, people coming here to Pontremoli can work there freely, their remote workers especially, and differently from the majority of co-working spaces so there they don't have to pay for it. Uh, they can offer their contributions, but those are absolutely voluntary to uh, pay to the parish. And I think that's really beautiful. So here is the, probably one of the most particular bars in the city that was born this way and has never been changed. And it is particular because, first of all, they serve you the drink that they invented here and you cannot find it anywhere else. And also, if you come here closer, you'll see that it says, that it says no cafe because they will not prepare you any coffee, even if you ask. Here you can find the coffee machine has been uh, off for eight years. Every year it changes the number. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, but uh, I love it.
So this is the drink that has been invented here in the 70s and uh, it's still, it has still the same recipe and it, it is prepared only in this bar in all of the world. So let's try it. And it's very, very good. It's like a mix of several wines, I guess, with lemon and maybe something else, but it is very tasty. There is even a very curious legend surrounding Pontremoli. It's like the town legend, you know, about a werewolf living here. And obviously, guys, it could be a perfect place for you to live here unless you're afraid of werewolves. So the local legend says that for a very long period of time, the town has been hunted by a werewolf and nobody actually knew who was it. At some point, the people thought that it was the local baker because he was ugly and he worked by night. And then there was a moment when they saw that it was a boy with learning disabilities. And then they actually thought it was a foreigner which probably makes sense, who would have thought, right? However, I think this legend is so peculiar because Pontremoli is surrounded by the hills and these hills uh, used to be inhabited by wolves and people had, you know, a difficult relationship with them, a complicated one. However, this legend was born out of this um, neighborhood, kind of, and I think this is really, really interesting. Believe it or not, guys, but Pontremoli is also a famous and very loved spot for star holidays. Meryl Streep used to stay here twice with her children uh, in an agriturismo nearby and they seem to love Pontremoli and I think yeah, it could easily be the next Hollywood, you know, because Pontremoli is lovely, the nature here is lovely, the history is amazing, you have so many things to do here. Who wouldn't love this place, honestly? I think not only Meryl Streep, but probably a bunch of other Hollywood stars could come here to spend their holidays, or who knows, maybe even choose this place as their second home. Guys, the view from here is absolutely amazing. You can see the town, you can see the river, the beautiful, beautiful nature, the little houses, colorful houses, and then even the mountains. And I think I can spot some snow in the mountains. Wow, that's insane because it actually is not cold here at all and you can see the snow in the mountains. Wow, that's, that's mind-blowing, guys. I love this place so, so much. Um, you know, the river, check. The nature, check. Beautiful town, uh, the history, the castle, great food. And I think I have to talk a bit more about it as well. What else could you wish for in a place where you come to, to live? You know, you come here and you don't want to leave it anymore. You want to move here and live here. Trust me. The food here is incredible. We have just tried uh, some focaccia, which is a local speciality, kind of. I feel like Pontremoli being so close to the Ligurian border, despite being in Tuscany, uh, the, the local cuisine is really influenced by the Ligurian cuisine as well. And that's so cool because they have uh, the local dish, testaroli, with pesto, which is Ligurian. And also they have focaccia with all the various fillings, typically Tuscan fillings. And I think this is really, really cool. And also, obviously, the dessert, the more that we've tried, absolutely insane, guys. Honestly, the food here is so good. I love it. I think I have to come back here to spend maybe a few days and try all the local specialities because everything is so good. And also to discover the city a little bit more because the city is very nice and the people are very welcoming. Guys, I have to say that after the tour that uh, Rossella and Damiano gave us, uh, which was absolutely incredible, I had to stop here for another amor with uh, coffee because this place just doesn't really let you leave and it's absolutely perfect. And as Rossella said, when you come here to Pontremoli as a single, you will not remain single for a very long time. That's probably why the dessert here is called Amor. So keep that in mind and consider coming to Pontremoli if you're looking for love. Because this city is love and I love it, absolutely. And honestly guys, if you want to find yourself a place where you will have this uh, calm and peaceful life near the nature, but also with a very dynamic and supportive community, this place is for you. Because Pontremoli is honestly an expat paradise. As I said at the beginning of this video, I can confirm now this is an expat paradise. Cheers! And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed Pontremoli because 
how could you not just look at this beauty behind my back this uh, town is absolutely fantastic and this whole community of start working from family is so lovely and obviously guys i think if you move here if you decide to move here that will be your chance to find your home in italy right away so guys as usual don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and make sure to hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos put a thumbs up comment and share this video with your friends if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave me some comments and i will see you soon with a new video thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day